I'm Forrest Saunders standing in front of the state capitol. The devil versus DeSantis. Yeah, I know. As strange as that may sound, it may actually happen here in the Sunshine State. That is after a new bill that was signed into law Thursday morning that has Governor Ron DeSantis and the Satanic Temple at odds. Inside this high school gym, Governor Ron DeSantis put his name on two bills Thursday. And one of them seeks to bring religious chaplains into a public school near you. HB 931 allows volunteer chaplains to counsel students in public and charter schools. Districts would need to approve and chaplains would have to disclose their religion, services, plus pass a background check. Students, meanwhile, would have to get permission from their parents. It's totally voluntary for a parent or a student to participate. Uh, no one's being forced to do anything. But to exclude religious uh, groups from campus, that is discrimination. Uh, you're basically saying that, that God has no place. Uh, that's wrong. That's not what our founding fathers intended. Supporters like DeSantis say they're opening the door for more freedom and support options. But critics took aim immediately. In this era of this whole Christian nationalism movement that's happening, I do not agree. State Senator Chevron Jones thinks the parental consent guardrails won't be enough and that the policy flies in the face of separation of church and state protections embedded in the U.S. Constitution. I, I think the state is trying to open up a, um, a, uh, a portion of statute to expand on this later. That's my fear. This is just the first step. I think so. What, what would be the end result in, in that fear scenario? I don't know, but I know they will have a lawsuit waiting from, <laughs> from, from some of these groups if they, if they did do that. And there is a group already planning to test the limits of the new law, the Satanic Temple. It's a beautiful day here at the state capitol. Great day to be a Satanist. You may know them from this 2019 documentary. The group has tax-exempt church status under the IRS, but is really a civil rights group of sorts pushing back on religious influence in American politics. And no, they don't really worship Satan. Their co-founder said in a statement the group is now committed to having satanic chaplains in Florida's public schools. Quote, it is unclear yet whether DeSantis understands that religious accommodations, exemptions and privileges need to be available to all regardless of viewpoint. DeSantis, however, vowed a fight. We're not playing those games in Florida. Uh, that is not a religion. That is not qualifying to be able to participate uh, in this. So we're going to be using common sense uh, when it comes to this. So you don't have to worry about that. What that brawl might look like remains unclear, but it certainly sets the stage for a potential First Amendment battle, perhaps outside the school and inside a courtroom. Now that the governor has signed the bill, the provisions take effect July 1st of this year, and that means theoretically we could see those first chaplains at the beginning of the next school year. We'll have to wait and see. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.